Unfortunately, there are conflicting guidelines when it comes to the exact position where a tourniquet should be placed. If the casualty is feeling dizzy when they sit up and they look pale, it's highly likely that you need to lay them down. And indeed, if they're still feeling dizzy when you lay them down, then you need to raise the legs in the air. The exact positioning of the tourniquet carries less importance than its ability to stop the blood flow. The amount of tightness required to stop severe bleeding with a tourniquet can be extremely painful. The study also found that for the casualties who had no neurological complications, there was 86 of them, and then I'll just give this a little twist, and this is the, the wind glass here, so the wind glass I'm going to twist. The second one, and probably middle of the range, is this one here. This is from our wound FX range, and it is a wound packing and tourniquet trainer. Here are three different options that you can use to control bleeding. And briefly let them know the pros and cons of each. The main, in that document, the guidance says that employers should look at the risks present in their workplace. So I think the first thing to point out when we start talking about demonstrating how to improvise a tourniquet is the importance of keeping this very, very simple. 